Hey guys, Dustin here, CEO of 630. Today we're going to answer the question, can you ride an e-bike manually? Stay tuned. Okay, so today we're going to answer the question, can you ride an e-bike manually? Before we jump into it, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Stay in tune with all the content we're putting out. We do new content weekly. Also stay up to date on the latest product releases and everything we're doing here at 630. Also, also weekly and monthly giveaways for bikes. So if you wanna be a part of that, hit subscribe and stay in touch. So let's jump in and answer the question, can you ride an e-bike manually? Simple answer, yes. Now, I've sort of touched on this in some other videos previously, but if it's deemed an e-bike, an electric bicycle, that means that it has the capability to be pedaled. If it doesn't have the capability to be pedaled, it's not an electric bike. So anything that's actually deemed an e-bike or an electric bike will always be able to be operated manually as long as it has pedals and it's called a bike. So most electric bikes um, have two modes at least, whether it be just the fully manual, meaning the motor is completely turned off. Um, so on all the e-bikes, you always have the option to turn the, the motor off. In that situation, you can just pedal the bike normally. Now, the disadvantage to, doing, to riding an e-bike manually is you are gonna be carrying around a little bit more extra weight than you would on a standard bike. Now, for casual riding, flat road riding, I think most people will never notice the difference. Um, now, if you're trying to go longer up hills, uh, faster, you're going to definitely feel the resistance of the extra weight. Um, now, like I said, so both, so mostly e-bikes have at least two modes. One is the motor completely off, the other is pedal assist. So if you turn the motor on, you can put it in different levels on how much the motor will assist you. Usually levels go one through five. The other thing is, is with most e-bikes, you can turn the motor on and leave it in level zero. So then you're just not getting pedal assist from the motor. So you can really toggle back and forth. Let's say you're entering a crowded area, you wanna keep pedaling, but you don't wanna have the assistance of the motor, you can click it down to zero. When you get through the people, if you wanna open it up, go a little faster, push the assistance up to one, two, three, four, five, depending on um, you know, what you're trying to accomplish. Now, this is how 630 bikes operate. It's generally true for most e-bikes. The levels of assist may be different for different companies. Some Electric bikes may only have three levels of assistance. Some may have more than five. I can't speak to every motor and every sort of dashboard controller that exists out there, um, but this is definitely true for 630 bikes. So to answer the question, um, and then I'll touch on one more thing actually, is some bikes like 630 bikes actually have three options. You have the option of totally manual, pedal assist, or full throttle. All 630 bikes have full throttle. What this means is that you can go full electric. So you can just push the, full, the thumb throttle down and let the motor do all the work and you don't have to pedal at all. So again, all e-bikes will come with two modes, manual pedal assist, 630 bikes, and some other bikes on the market come with three, manual pedal assist and full throttle. So hopefully we answered all your questions today about can an e-bike be operated manually. If you have any other additional questions, please comment below. We're happy to answer. We love the feedback or reach us on email, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. And if you're in the market for an electric bike, go to our website, 630.com, check out the selection and don't forget, take our body fit quiz. Our body fit quiz is driven by a proprietary algorithm that will take your lifestyle, riding choices and your body dimensions and fit you to the perfect bike and it's proprietary to our website. And the huge plus, we have a 365 day return policy. If you don't love your bike within 365 days, send it back, zero questions asked, no money out of your pocket. Thanks for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience, enjoy the ride.